So might as well get right into this. There's a million different ways to bid a plowing account like this. Really, you should do whatever makes the most sense for you. However, you can make the most money long term and be able to provide a good service to your customers. We do monthly and per time. We do not do any hourly unless the work is outside the original contract. So about 60% of our accounts are monthly and 40% are per time. Uh, this particular account is, I think it's like 1100 a month. And that only includes the plowing, any salting, pushbacks, haul outs, drifting uh, would be extra. So that only covers the plowing. Anything outside of that is extra. This account, I think it's a newer account. Um, I've never actually plowed it. This guy right here in the skid, our guy Sean, he's great. He plows it, I think pretty much every time. I think it takes him around an hour roughly. I have to look in Jobber to see exactly how long it spends here. But So how we bid is, in my opinion, there's no money in working for hourly like this. If you were to get, say, a going rate anywhere from 90 to 120 for a skid loader, by the time you pay a good guy, you know, 25, 30 an hour, plus what he's costing you for insurance and payroll tax and everything else, say he's costing you 35 an hour, then you got the price of the skid loader, you got the price of fuel, you got the price of that nice Arctic sectional pusher. So by the time you add all that up, there's really not that much left. Say it's costing you 60 an hour, so you might be making 40 an hour, where if you came to this customer and said, you know, hey, I can plug a lot for 200 at a time, they say, yeah, no problem, it sounds good. And right there, you just made twice as much if it takes you an hour. So hourly work for us just doesn't really work. You might get by and pay the bills, but you're never really gonna get ahead by doing hourly work. That's just my opinion, but that's how we do it. To get a monthly price, all you have to do is take your per time and then take that times however many times a month uh, you are planning on it snowing. So say it's for easy math, 100 bucks a plow. And in our area, if it's a one inch trigger, you plan for four events per month. So that'd be 400 bucks a month for your monthly. And that is a give and take. Sometimes you make a bunch of money if it doesn't snow. Sometimes you lose money if it happens to snow six times that month. So that's a little bit of a gamble, but usually at the end of the year, it evens out pretty well. So bidding is really pretty simple. You, there's no reason to overcomplicate it. Our sales guy, Michael, bids accounts like these. You're seeing here, commercial industrial, no problem at all. Sometimes you won't even meet the customer. Other times he does. You just want to have all expectations really clear up front. You want to have a good contract. Make sure you have a lawyer. Look over your snow contract. Uh, we spent a lot of time on ours and have had a lawyer look over it a couple times just to make sure that everything's covered in there. So make sure you have a really good contract and have a good tight service area. Um, you get too spread out. You start to get hard to make money, at least for us anyway. We try to service just a couple towns really well. They get a bunch of counts close and Plowing can be pretty profitable when you get a good route. The route density is key. Make sure you bid them for a realistic timeline of how long it's going to take. And yeah, overall, it's it's a good uh, it's a good business if you like consistent hours. <laughs> There's no nine to five uh, snow removal. Um, no snow removal company I know has their guys work nine to five. It's pretty much whenever duty calls. So if you like that little. Uh, Evenness of it, I guess, then the snow removal business would be great for you. And obviously, if you're up north like us or somewhere where you get a lot of snow. But overall, it's been a pretty average year. We've had, I think, like 10 snowfalls so far. They've all been from like an inch to four inch. So a bunch of small snows, nothing big yet. But overall, it's been a great year so far.